James Robinson never gave up in the hardest situations, and now he's one of the best young running backs in the league, and is only getting better. Underneath throw, Robinson, the workhorse, leapfrogging the defense. Incredible play by Robinson. Before I start the video, if you wouldn't subscribe and like, that would help a ton. But anyways, let's get back to the video. James Robinson grew up in Rockford, Illinois, a place so bad that it was ranked within the top 10 most dangerous cities in the United States. Because of this, James was put into football at a young age in order to distract from the chaos around him. James played for the Rockford Ravens and Pop Warner and was gifted from the start, as he was noticeably better than his other teammates, and because of that was able to play football at Rockford High School, and not just play, dominate. Although James dominated Pop Warner, he had to adjust to high school football, and it wasn't until his junior year when he was able to start on varsity. That season, in 12 games, James proved why he was a beast in Pop Warner and ran for over 2,200 yards and had 38 touchdowns. But that's not even the craziest part. What's insane is that year James averaged 12.4 yards per carry and his average yards per game was 185. These stats are insane and show how James was just on a different level. Following an insane season, James somehow outdid himself his senior year as in only 9 games he yet again had over 2200 yards. He also had 42 touchdowns and an even crazier 20.4 yards per carry. This all seems fake but I'm not lying, it's actually true and just shows how good James has been since the beginning. And with the stats that James had, obviously he got all state which is not much of a surprise. Not the insurance. <laughs> even though James had what I would only call a ridiculous one of a kind year, he was only a three-star recruit, even though he still had interest from schools like Iowa, Illinois, Nebraska, and Michigan State. But instead of going to these bigger schools, he chose a little FCS school in Illinois State. Why did James go to FCS when he had FBS offers? I don't completely know. Was it to stay with family because he had offered from Illinois also? Anyways, I have no clue, but he decided to take a different path in order to get more playing time and I guess stay near his family along with it. As a true freshman, James was able to play in 9 games, as he missed 3 games with a calf injury. And because of this, he was only the 3rd leading rusher for the Redbirds, as he ran for just over 300 yards and 2 touchdowns. Going into his sophomore season, James won the starting job and rushed for over 900 yards and 12 touchdowns. James went off his sophomore season, but was looking to move to the next level. And that season, he cracked the century mark as he ran for nearly 1300 yards and 12 touchdowns yet again. Following this phenomenal season, James was yet again named to the All-Missouri Valley Football Conference and was even given third-team All-American nods by the Associated Press and was even a finalist for the Walter Payton Award. Going into his senior season, James wanted to leave on a high note, and yeah, he did. Not only did James have his best year, but he ran for just one yard under 1,900 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns. Following his best year, James was named to the FCS All-American First Team and was yet again first-team All-Conference. Following a solid college career, James was looking towards the NFL, and although he went undrafted, the Jaguars picked him up soon after the draft, and James worked up the roster to make the 53-man team, and then following the departure to Tampa Bay for Leonard Fournette, James was named the starting running back. To start out on a team in the first year as an undrafted rookie is insane, and the fact that he even made the roster shows James' tenacity, and not only did he just make the team and start, but he balled out. Here's the handoff, Robinson! James made his week 1 debut against the Colts and had just over 60 rushing yards and 28 yards receiving. Which is a great start and not only did the Jaguars win that game, but James became only the 4th undrafted rookie to start in week 1 since 1970. Upon that, James was the first running back from Illinois State to start a game since Avion Kaysen in 2006. Following that historic game, James had his first game above 100 yards against the Titans and his first NFL touchdown. Following that game, James filled up yards like crazy. And as of week 15, he has over 1,000 yards rushing and over 300 receiving yards. James' rookie season reminds me of Josh Jacobs' 2019 rookie year. But somehow, James was snubbed from the Pro Bowl with these crazy stats. But I doubt this will be his only chance. James Robinson has come out of one of the toughest cities in the nation to become one of the best running backs in the NFL, and he's not going to stop anytime soon. Here we go. Redbirds all the way to the house. It's James Robinson, 57 yards. Touchdown Redbirds. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and like for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday with another video. Peace out.